Now, there's nothing more I love in this game, more than taking over my very own island. Usually at the start of the wipe, the first thing I check for on the map is to see if any islands exist at all, and then if they do, try and take it over for myself. Now, today is no different, except for one thing. I join the server like usual, I open my map, and I do notice there is an island that exists. However, this is not the start of the wipe, this is midway through the wipe. So, there's already people living on the island. But I don't give a damn. We're going to check it out anyway and see what happens. Hopefully, we can raid a few bases on there, get a few kills, and see how it goes. Enjoy today's video, everybody. Let's get into it. Now, after hitting a few nodes and hitting a few trees, I started swimming over to this island that you see on the screen right now. Now, this island is rather big, so let's go and have a look at it firsthand and see what's going on here. There's a base here that's got twig on it. Great stuff. Hello, anybody home? You've got a horse outside your base. Your base is made out of twig. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm not going to kill you. I'm here to help. This guy has a horse. He also has this thing to feed his horse, which has stuff in it. He's managed to get all of this stuff, right? But he's not upgraded his base from freaking twig. Absolute classic. I love to see it. Well, it doesn't seem like it's here now, so we're going to see what's inside. <laughs> Oh, no, he's not. He's just asleep inside his base. All right. Well, free loot is free loot. Let's eat some of his food. And you know what? I'm not going to be a complete asshole to this guy. I'm actually going to help him out. Sorry for those of you that want me to just take all his loot. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to upgrade his base. I'm going to leave a note. And I'm going uh, to help him out a little bit. I was going to help this guy out. I promise you guys. But... That's it. No excuse. I just changed my mind. <laughs> One in chat if I sit here for 10 minutes and help this guy. Two in chat if I kill him. We're going to a Twitch vote. Oh my god. You guys, you're terrible, terrible people. Okay, I, I am going to take his loot, but only because you're making me do it. So all of the responsibility and blame goes on you guys. <laughs> For all you ones in there, I want to say I respect that, but I got to go with the popular vote here, and that's taking this guy out. We've actually got enough to build our own base, so it's it's kind of it's kind of okay, you know, it's kind of good. Taking all the loot, I could take the charcoal and stuff, but you know what? It doesn't really bother me. There's actually low grade inside the lantern. That's cool. Other than that, we've pretty much got everything. Finish him. After completely taking everything that this guy owns, including his horse, I made my way around the island and looked for a place to build my base. Along the way there, I did notice a few bases which caught my eye. Potential raid targets maybe for later on. Oh, this is like a nice little base. Maybe our raid target for later. Yeah, I mean, let's just keep moving. Quite a few bases around here that I'd like to raid, to be honest. We are literally just going to live around here. I don't know who lives in this base, but we're going to raid him. And that's it. Let's go for it then. Base is down. I'm crafting a tool cupboard right now. Crafting a box right now. I can store away all this loot. I can already craft a satchel on this server. So all I need to do is get a level one workbench down. Then we will uh, go and farm all the sulfur in this area. We'll get the furnaces on. We'll start smelting the sulfur and we'll do a satchel raid. The first step of the day is complete. We found a pretty good spot to live in right on the coastline on a nice island filled with loads of bases. Now, after building the base, I went out on a bit of a farming trip just to get some general resources. And while I was out farming, I actually found a very mysterious base. This guy's left his door open, so that's interesting. In fact, he's not only left one door open, he's left two. Are we dealing with some kind of trap here? What, what's the deal? See, the base had all of its doors open, as you can see. And the tool cupboard is exposed, but the base is not decaying which means that there's probably loot inside of the tool cupboard. And whenever you see a tool cupboard that's exposed and it has a lock on it and the base is not decaying, it's always worth checking out. So I decided that I was going to use an Ayoka to blast through this tool cupboard and see what's inside. Sweet, let's do it. I'll just quickly loot the cave. Now, I did a little bit more farming, looted the cave, as I said, got the loot back to base and deposited it. But I needed a level one workbench in order to craft the gunpowder to make the handmade shells, which we're going to be using in our Ayoka pistol to get through the tool cupboard. Unfortunately, there's not really many places on this island to get scrap. It's one of the downfalls of living on an island, unless you want to grind it out diving underneath the ocean. So I left the island for a little while and headed over to this dirt road. While I was there, we encountered our first PvP battle. And so, oh, we got a fight on our hands here. What have you got? Oh, let me see your bow skills. I believe. Okay, he's, he's actually hit me. 
Oh, shit. I didn't hit my bow. Oh, no. He's actually going to kill me. We killed it. Oh. Now, the thing is about Russ, you should never give up, no matter what. Persistence is key on this game. You never know what can happen when you hit that respawn button, as you're about to see right now with me, because I find something very useful indeed that's going to save us a lot of time. That was my time to get a kill. It's all good. It's all good. This base looks kind of new. So spikes outside. Oh, he's got armored foundations. Are you kidding me? Maybe it was a good idea that we just died. I mean, he's probably been raided, but I kind of want to see what's going on here. There's a furnace inside. They could, they, I mean, he's probably been raided, but let's check this out. Give me a tree. I need to find a building plan. It, it may have actually been a good thing that we died here. Yeah, sometimes when you die, good things can happen afterwards. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Free level two workbench. Free level two workbench. I am not complaining that we just died. That is actually freaking awesome. Holy crap. Crafting a hammer and a building plan. It's not all over when you freaking uh, die on this game. Just keep going, respawn, and karma will be there for you, okay? The Rust Gods. All right, well, jobs are freaking good in right there. This guy's using bone arrows. Uh, grab his tier two. We now have a tier two workbench for free. Okay, now let's see what's in this base. Well, okay. Okay. Oh, level one workbench in here and a furnace. Right. Well, I still need to research a few things on the tier one workbench. So I'm actually going to take this. I mean, may as well take it anyway, but yeah. All right, let's get home. Let's put on the wetsuit. All right, back to the island. Second time lucky. Let's upgrade this whole thing to stone. Tier two workbench is down. Perfect. Then we can now craft the handmade shells and go and do the raid that we wanted to do. Well, the Ayoka raid. So as you guys just saw, and as I just said in the video, I'd managed to smelt some of the sulfur. And now that we had a workbench, I crafted a bunch of handmade shells and we headed over to the base with the locked tool cupboard to see if there's anything inside. What? 2,400 sulfur, mate. What the hell? And loads of metal and loads of other stuff. What is that? 2,000 sulfur from a freaking tool cupboard. All right. Not complaining at all there, boys. I mean, wood. Wood's the, wood's the only thing we need in the game now. We are set. One, two, 3,000, 4,000 sulfur right there. Plus an extra 1,000 sulfur in there. That puts us at 5,000 sulfur. All we need to do now is farm three more sulfur nodes. We'll have enough to do our satchel raid. Boom. Now, you might think that we're finished with the Ayoka raiding for today. Well, you are wrong because there is another base right next to me, which also has an exposed tool cupboard. This base is literally one of the closest bases to me, and I've still got handmade shells left over. So let's see what's in here. This TC. So once again, this base is not decaying. So there could be stuff in here. Let's find out. Okay, that is freaking worth it, man. It's not as crazy as the other one, but it's still good. I will 100% take that. Back to base. And now I can craft another two, another door. And that's 100% worth it. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed at, even though I shouldn't be, I should be grateful for what I got. It's just the fact that I need wood. So I'm going to have to go farm a few trees now. But hey, I'm happy with that. That's good. All right, I need more storage. We're going to keep organized today. We're not going to mess uh, the storage up. Actually, we're not going to be too organized. Uh, I take that back. If you guys ever find a base that's got a, a, a locked tool cupboard inside and the base is not decaying, just do an Ayoka raid. It takes five minutes and, you know, you could get some good loot. Like, we've had some solid loot right there from just getting lucky and we've, we've barely been playing. We've been playing for two hours, so. And as I said, I'll go and grab loads of wood now and then we can actually do a satchel raid. Perfect. Right, let's get the furnaces on. I'm going to also craft a few more furnaces. Let's craft two more furnaces. Let's get them all... Uh, in fact, let's go ham. We're going to craft three more furnaces. So while the furnaces were cooking up all the sulfur that we need to craft our satchels to do a satchel raid, I went out and hit a few trees and did some more farming in the meantime. Now then, here's where things get a little bit interesting. See, I joined this server pretty early on in the morning, and by this point in the video, everybody starts to log into the game, including people that live on the island. And the first guy that happens to log in is this dude. Go away. Oh my god, he scared the crap out of me. 
Okay, this guy's online. Interesting. I was actually planning on raiding this base. Oh no, what do I do? Yo, I hear you outside. I decided that I was going to raid this guy. I was going to do an online raid. And originally, my plan was to solo online raid this guy. And that would be fair and it would be fun. But I kind of screwed up here. I'm not going to lie because I feel like I should have online raided him solo. But no, that's not what happened. I asked my friend Blizzard if he wanted to play with me at any point in the day. And he just so happened to join my stream at this moment in time. And so I invited him along to come and help me with this raid. Which which I regret. There is a certain scumminess to this right here. So enjoy it. It's definitely not my proudest Rust moment. And hopefully later on in the video, you'll see that I do kind of make up for it in a way. But yes, online raid against a solo player. <laughs> Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Hey, mate. How's it going? Uh, so you're actually living on an island right now, right? You know me too well. <laughs> right, I've sent you the server, dude. All right. Is that you? No. Knocking on my door. No, no, it's on me. Genuinely isn't. No. Where are you? I'm like one grid out. Okay, it's me, it's me, it's me. <laughs> right, take the bag, mate. Put, put it, uh, put it outside. All right, now you wait out there, sir, Mademoiselle. Um, right. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I am going to give you stuff. Okay. To yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you stuff so you can grab the bow and stuff. Mm-hmm. Maybe some food and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Hospitality is, is going to happen. Don't worry. You... Well, I'm currently locked outside your base, so it doesn't feel very hospitable. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. But you're, you're guarding my base. You're doing a good job. Oh, you want to be inside? A rock? <laughs> All right, here. Take this, dude. Um, right, so there's food for you right there. Go ahead and eat some food. That's it's hospitality. Very good. All right, welcome to my base, Blizzard. Uh, this is where mm, I live. Thank you. And... I'm from Yorkshire. Now, I've got something for you right here. Yeah, I, I nailed the Yorkshire accent. That's what they sound like in Northern England, everybody, if you're wondering. They sound a lot like this. And, uh, yeah, th that's exactly what they sound like. And they, they eat cottage pie. And up in Yorkshire, it's, well, it's quite all right up in Yorkshire. After my terrible attempt at a Yorkshire accent, we're headed to the base with the satchels to do this raid. His door's open. His door's open. What are you trying to build? I hit him. I missed. Is that a wooden door? <laughs> yes, it is. We're going through the doors. Yeah. Oh, oh. No, go away. Bro, I don't have anything. Why <laughs> rage? I literally am broke. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't have anything, bro. Bro. Oh, wait, I'm broke. No, 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 I swear on no, no, no. my life. I'm... Now, I do feel bad for raiding this guy at this moment in time. However, it turns out that it was definitely not a good idea to mess around with this dude because he has got contacts. He knows people on this island. So technically, he's not alone in this moment. And although we are definitely the bad guys here, we deserve everything that's coming to us. Now, I did attempt to be friendly with this guy and maybe start a truce, but my friend Blizzard was like, nope, we're in raid mode, Jordan. Because this little, this little naked fucker kept killing me with a hunting bow. Right, yeah, yeah, I know, but that's the reason I raided you, because I'm your neighbor as well. But if you want to be friends, oh, we, can, okay. we, we can maybe, we can, we can start a truce and we can forget this ever happened. Yeah, I'd like to be friends. Uh, I, I'm sorry for raiding you once again, man. I'm going to unlock your door and, and stuff. Here. Yeah, sorry about that. I... Blizzard! Now, we'll be seeing this guy later on in the video. For now, Blizzard and I are going to go and do another raid. We've still got sulfur left over, so we're going to craft more satchels. And there is another base on the island that looks pretty good. So we're going to head over there now with more satchels and do another raid. Oh, mate, that's a lot of stone and a lot of wood. That's going to help me out a lot. Now, this base actually looked quite promising because it had wood walls around it, but it was quite an easy base to raid. It wasn't very big. Anyway, let's do this, mate. Second raid of the day. Oh, whip. Let's hope it's all open, please, Rust Gods. Oh, it's a wooden door. Okay, that's not a bad sign. And we're in. Oh. Oh, no, it's, uh... Oh, oh, okay, okay, it's not all... It's it's not all bad. This. Oh, sulfur. Look at that, 1,500 right there. Yeah, let's get into let's get into TC. Did you grab all the loot from there? Oh, I'm no, low. No, no, I'm, not, I'm one satchel low. Oh, Should we cut? Wait, let's what? go. You didn't have 10 on you? No, I had eight. Oh, okay. So we went back to base and we crafted some more satchels so we could finish this raid and get to the tool cupboard. This is exactly how I raid. Candle hat. Um, perfect, you know. 
let's continue. Here we go. Now, whilst we were raiding, we could actually hear somebody talking that sounded very familiar. Base, 230. Oh, no, it's not. It's two guys. It's two guys. They're raiding right there. That's them. He was actually snitching on us to one of his neighbors, and rightly so. We did freaking raid him. But it turns out that all of these guys are friends on this island, and we're the odd ones out. Not only did he tell this neighbor that you see on the screen right now who lives in this base, but he told a clan that lived close by as well. So overall, we got the whole island against us at this point. <laughs> Is he grassing us up? Let me in, let me in, let me in! Let me in! <laughs> hey, come here! <laughs> Hey, don't bro, why kill me? All right, sweet. We're at TC. Let me get, let me get through that real quick, and then I'll place the door down. Come inside. All right, sweet. What have we got in the TC? Eh, uh, not too bad, to be honest. Yeah, could be worse. Uh, five bean cans there, so kind of made a little bit back. Um, now, unfortunately, before we were able to transport this loot back to base, the clan guys showed up and freaking kicked our asses. After we died, we went and met up with our mate, the guy we raided first. Now, this guy forgot to clear authorization on his tool cupboard. We decided to place our own door on the front of his base for snitching on us to those two geared players. I know every dude that lives on the island. We know everybody that lives on the island, dude. Because if you guys raided Elijah, which, which his base got raided, then Gerald will probably kill you, and so will his brother that lives in a huge base on the middle of this island. So you might as well just take it off now, or I'm gonna tell that kid's brother to come read it. Well, yeah, but do you know where we live, though? Yes, you live. I, I know exactly where your base is. I don't. Go ahead and kill me. I'm gonna go. Oh, well. I'm gonna... Yeah, I know. I'll you text his brother. Friends, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. You're texting his yes. brother. Now we've officially started a war. We are definitely not welcome on this island, and, and he knows where we live, so it doesn't look like we're going to survive on here for too much longer, but I am going to do some base upgrading just to make it a little bit harder to raid us. I'm not going to go too extreme, but let the base upgrading commence. Oh, player coming. Hello there. Hello there. Fuck off. All right, so after doing some base upgrading, Blizzard actually logged out. I decided that, you know what? I was kind of done messing around with this kid. He seems like a pretty all right guy, to be honest with you. We've definitely given him a hard time today. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to give him his base back because Blizzard had access to that door. I did not, the door that we placed to grief him. But there is a base that's available and for the taking up right next to where I live. It's the second base that I Ayoka raided at the start of the video. Remember the tool cupboard that we got through? I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give this guy a bunch of resources I'm going to tell him where that base is, and he can build a new base, and we'll call it quits. The least I can do is just end it on a little bit of a friendly note for him. Take this. Oh, uh, wait. Come back to my base. Come back to my base. My friend shouldn't My friend shouldn't know about this, but come back to my base. I'm going to give you some loot. I'm about to log out. I don't know if yeah, you're going to... kill me. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I mean, I kind of need back in my base in order to put the loot away, but... No, I know, I know, I know. I'm just going to give you a... Uh, well, I can't because my friend just logged out and he's the one that's got access to your door. So you're going to have to make a new base. And there's a base up on the top of the hill there, which you can take over. Um, so if you want, I'll just give you like some basic stuff to take it over. Do you want to do that? Uh, well, I'm about to log out as well. All right, I guess. All right, take this. All right, I'm giving you like a furnace, just some extra stuff, that, that, and a bow, and some food. All right, uh, I'm not going to kill you, but you can take up that base. And I'm sorry for being an asshole. Um, but yeah, good luck with the rest of your day. And if you want to raid me, go ahead. We deserve it. But yeah. Now, after this, I logged out. Uh, but the next day, I decided to log in. I'm sure you're all wondering what happened to the base and whether we did, in fact, get raided. Well, here you go. We did, in fact, get raided. They got revenge. Now, I also wanted to see if that kid managed to take over the base. And so I went to check, and he did. He actually upgraded it a little bit. One of the walls was the wrong way around, but yeah, he did. He managed to get his own base down. So, I, in a way, I'm kind of glad that we got raided and they succeeded. 
in a weird way. I don't know. I feel like we were the bad guys. I honestly do. There's always a villain to every story. Just so happens that today we were the villains. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, I'll have more videos for you very soon. I've had a bit of a tricky time lately editing. I don't know. I've just been a little bit burnt out. There's loads of footage there. All I've got to do is kick myself into gear and get these videos edited and out to you guys. So fingers crossed, if everything goes to plan, you'll be seeing many videos over the next week. Without further ado, enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. I'll catch you very soon. And uh, yes, take it easy. Peace out.